Hello fellow Wargamers and welcome to a review video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at KR card cases. These cases are the foundation of the KR multi-case system. As some of you may know, I play 5 or 6 games and within those games I play about at least 3 or 4 factions per game. So you can imagine my collection got pretty extensive over time. A lot of my figured transport solutions were to use Tupperware containers that you would go pick up at any arts and crafts store and they work well for the short term. Unfortunately for me, I manhandle my boxes and cases. I would throw them around, toss them in the back seat of the car, or tumble them across a game store when someone asked to borrow something. Needless to say, it makes other people cringe when I do. I had to find something flexible, affordable, and be able to protect my minis not just when I travel, but also while it's being stored on my shelf. I also wanted to be able to organize my army as well as be able to pull them out with ease and ready to go when I'm off to the game store or a convention. So that's when I turned to KR Multi Cases. At the base of their system are their card cases. Let's take a look at them. So just to get some stuff out of the way is that I've used a few different cases before in my wargaming life. One of them being the GW case, which I totally despise. Not good for your money, not good for your wallet. I think it's heavy. One big solution, it's even heavier. The foam's not all that great. It comes apart really easy, the bottom and top. But to be fair, it's been years since I got the last one, things might have changed, but still, looking at the uh, how much it costs per what you could put in your uh, in the cases and stuff, I don't think it's worth it. Second, I've used Battle Foam, and actually Battle Foam was something I've used for years. The reason why I like going to KR now is because some, some, uh, some differences. One is that the way that KR is made, how I could modulize stuff and you know put in the case. Now, there are other different storage solutions Battlefall has now, and to be fair, it is actually really good cases, okay? I only have two problems with it, is the pricing and the way it's going to price to how I need it. And second, the rigidity of their foam. Um, at first, I thought the rigidity of having it firm, the foam, is better for your figures, but for my experience, over time, it does scuffle my figures. Now. Not everyone can say that, okay? Some people say they never had a problem. Some people even agree with me saying, oh yeah, it scuffed my figures too. My opinion, my experience, it scuffled my figures, okay? Now, I'm not saying it's a bad or thing. I'm not saying it's actually Battlefoam's fault. I think it's just the way maybe I've stored the stuff. But again, Battlefoam is good bags. I like them, but I'm going to KR because, again, the options I have with it, the pricing I have with it, and it does have softer foam, which I feel more comfortable squeezing the figures in between. Okay, as you know, I am sponsored by KR Multi Case. So, I, like always, I uh, try to give a neutral opinion on everything. Again, like I said, Battle Foam makes good bags. If you don't go, go KR, go Battle Foam. Now, again, as I mentioned, the foam is soft, and that's what I like about KR Multi Case. Um, when I am. Um, putting in figures and some figures might jut out I have no problem or any worries about putting the foam on top of it and squeezing it down so really soft foam I like that uh, all these card cases and the reason why I'm doing card cases first is because it is the foundation of how the multi uh, KR multi case works okay and you put all these foams into these card cases and then the card case into a carrying solution now this one is the Space Marine card, ca um, card case, and uh, it holds a Land Raider, Predators, two Rhinos, two Dreads, 18 Terminators, and 50 Troops. As you can see here that I'm putting back in, it holds the Land Raider and two Dreads. The one I'm pulling out here can hold um, a Predator and two Rhinos. And of course, uh, it has little slots there for putting in uh, your you know options, your, your weapon options or what have you. So again, at first when I was a little worried about it being cardboard because when I think cardboard, I'm thinking about the cardboard that you would ship stuff in and stuff like that. This is actually a much sturdy car, sturdier cardboard. And uh, so that alleviated my fears of it being a little chintzy, but it's not. I mean, I've actually sat on it a few times and uh, nothing came out of it. I mean, I'm a heavy guy. I'm not like the lightest guy in the world. So I had no problem with that. It held up to my scrutiny of weight at least and um, you close the case you can label them has a handle you see the KR multi case logo there uh, one great thing is being an airbrusher I could probably airbrush illustrations on it like if it's carrying my space wolves I would put like space wolves 
uh, illustration under something. And then I can label them as well and put them on the shelf. And that's what I love about this. I can take them out of the carrying cases and put them on the shelf and put in another army or uh, whatever army I need when I'm going to the store or a convention. Again, this is my Malifaux uh, loadout bo uh, card box. As you can tell here, there are models that juts out, you know, and I have no problems with uh, squeezing in it with the foam. The foam is very soft, it's not firm, so I would squeeze them in between the foam and not have any actual worries about it. Um, again, this one holds a bunch of uh, height one models, a uh, bunch of height threes and height twos. So again, as you can see there, that's Lord Chompy Bits. That's a height three model. These are height, there's a height two model in there and an off the shape type of uh, model, which is my Ostrich, because the, the hawk on it, or rather the Raptor on it, is really large. So I had to put that into uh, the height two uh, foam. So again, taking all the foam in the cardboard box, uh, you see some of the figures out there jutting, and this is one thing I really, really love about KR, is that since their foam is soft, I have no problem squeezing, worry about squeezing stuff in. With the firmer foam, I kind of cringe a little sometimes. A little worried about it, how how stiff it is and might, you know, break a piece of the uh, figure off or something. Um, but here, I'm not too worried about it. Shuffle it around a little. You can tell there's stuff jutting out. There's nothing I can really do about that. Just stick it on. Close the card case. And I'm ready to go. Okay, again, comes with the handle. Spray some stuff on it. Maybe put stickers on it. You know, you never know, you know. Uh, this one here is a uh, orc loadout, okay, and this one is for carrying knobs. I'm not quite sure how many knobs, and we'll look at it later, but uh, since these are Black Reach orcs, uh, mostly that are stored in here, they're really off scale or, or really like long in the way of wide because of the way they hold the weapons and stuff. So I had to get the uh, knob loadout, and they fit perfectly. And uh, Basically works well. Again, not worried about squeezing anything that might jut out from the actual slots. Okay, so what do you do with these cases? You buy, I buy, I would buy a bunch of these for all my armies, you know, and whatever I need to load out, label them, put them on the shelf, know what they are. And what you do is you could get their carrying solutions like this Kaiser one, all right? This holds one card case, all right? And very easy, this is what I use for my, my Malifaux, mainly my, uh, my guild and my uh, Neverborn factions, they all fit into that one card case so far. And then you just stick it in, zip it in, put in your books or whatever you need, and uh, there you have it. And later on, we'll take a look at all these carrying solutions as well, because they have different carrying solutions for your taste. Backpack or harder uh, metal cases or the Kaiser, as you just saw there. So we are here at the uh, KR Multicase site, that is krmulticase.com. First thing you want to do is probably change the currency so you can see how much the prices are. Uh, so some of the U.S. change the U.S. And they have um, pretty much cases already pre-made, you know, pre-built for whatever you have for whatever army. Uh, let's go to GW. Let's go to Blood Angels. And you have the choice of just buying the trays or the custom trays and then or, you know, pre-filled cases. Okay, the custom trays uh, here are like custom cutouts, for example, if you go here, you get a you know predator cutout case, uh, storm talon plus flight stand case. So they have or foam, sorry. So they have all the stuff that's you know pre-made already, ready to go. So depending on how your army works and uh, what you have. And so you go in there, and as I mentioned before, is the chaos cases type. Is the they have various different types of um, carrying cases. The backpack's pretty cool. You have the backpack that's uh, can carry one card case or two card cases and uh, it's a pretty nifty little product here I really like that you also have other options like the prestige and wield cases these are the metal cases my favorite of course is the Kaiser cases uh, Kaiser comes uh, with Kaiser 1 all the way up to Kaiser 4 so that you can carry four um, card cases with it and um, again you have all these options okay or you could just go ahead and uh, fill out a regular card case they also have half card cases too so you could double up the card case in the kaiser one if you wanted to if you really wanted to you know really make your army uh, uh settled in different uh card cases here so 
you have that, you go there, you select the case, and then uh, it'll go through the whole rigmarole. Do you want uh, core uh, foams or custom foams, railway railway uh, foams, which is to carry you know railroad stuff for the railroad uh, community. They also have smaller uh, figure uh, cases too, six millimeter, ten millimeter. You select the core. I'll tell you how much it'll cost. You click continue, and then. Um, and then you know you pick the uh, loadout that you want. Now the other thing is that you can also just buy the case with pre-filled already. So you select a case, like let's go here and select a Kaiser 2. We'll select a case, go in here, and then you know you can view all the little options they have for the Kaiser 2. Again, the Kaiser case is probably my favorites. Uh, let's go ahead and select uh, Core. Okay, 142 with uh, two uh, foam cases here. Uh, sorry, foam card cases. And you got the troop loadouts. You know, tra troops and cavalry. It depends. It's all how you want to customize it for your your army. The good thing is, is you might not know what you want at first. Okay, um, even if you have like mouthful, I don't know what I wanted at first. Best thing to do is uh, email them and let them know what you have, and they will more be more than glad to tell you what would be the best setup for you. Okay, so they're really really customer uh, service friendly here. Uh, they have a new search. Um, feature on their site so if you're not sure if it's not a list just type it in and then it'll give you the results for what, uh, what you need so there you go this is the uh, KR multi case site so that you can build up your loadout and stuff but as we say uh, later on in the videos we'll go and take a look at the different card carrying um, case options that you can store your card cases in and again there's nothing wrong with just carrying your uh, card case with you to the store if that's all you need to and that's a really really cheap way of you know getting your models carried and and protected so there you have it stay tuned for future videos where i review and go over their different carrying case solutions and how i intend on using them if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them down in the video below so that's it guys i love you guys and happy wargaming